What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rolling out with one of my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon, Barrascuda. But not just any Barrascuda, this one's rocking Swift Swim alongside with the Life Orb and we are pairing them up with Drizzle Kyogre. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click off this video and just leave. Just get on out of here. I'm just playing. Stay a little longer, but definitely consider subscribing because all of my subscribers really help me grow as a content creator. So if you are a subscriber of mine, thank you so much. Thank you so much. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I got to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my boy Brian. Thank you so much for leaving another absolute banger of a team in my Twitter DMs. I really appreciate it. I cannot wait to use this team and get some wins with it. But with that out of the way, now we get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner like we always do, we got the Tornadus. We got Prankster ability, also have the Bright Powder as an item. Really cool item, you don't really get to see it in Sword and Shield, so we are rocking with the Bright Powder today. Tornadus has Hurricane, it's got Taunt, it's got Tailwind for Speed Control, and then last but not least, it's got a nice little coverage move with Heat Wave. Second Pokemon is going to be that Barrascuda. Barrascuda's got that Swift Swim to double its speed in the rain, and then that Life Orb to make it do with the most damage it can possibly do. It's got Waterfall for Stab, Close Combat for Coverage, Crunch for Coverage, and then it's got Aqua Jet for first turn priority. Middle left is going to be Calyrex over here, and I really do like this Calyrex moveset right here. It's the Will-O-Wisp Calyrex. I just like having Burn on it because it can outspeed pretty much any Pokemon, and then Will-O-Wisp and Physical Attackers is just really, really powerful. This thing has the as one ability, alongside its best item, which is the Focus Ash, and then moveset is Astro Barrage, Psychic, Will-O-Wisp like we already mentioned, and then Protect for our fourth and final move. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Kyogre. That will be Barrascuda's best friend. Chances are we're going to be throwing those Pokemon out at the same time in multiple battles. This thing's got Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, Thunder, and Water Spout, and then Drizzle as its ability, and then the Wise Glasses as its item. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Zacian over here, and I'm not even going to say anything about this Zacian. It is just a normal Zacian that you guys have been seeing throughout the years. There it is. If you guys want to check it out, just look at it. Final Pokemon is going to be Grimmsnarl, and this is my favorite Grimmsnarl setup right here. It is the Pranks or Light Clay Grimmsnarl with both screens, Thunder Wave, and Spirit Break. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with a Series 13 Swift Swim Bear Scooter team. First battle coming at you guys, and we are going up against an Omastar team. This looks amazing. Haven't seen this Pokemon used on the rank ladder. Cannot wait to go up against it. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But he also has Incineroar for that Intimidate, Shadow Rider Calyrex, and then he's rocking Grimstone, Groudon, and Magearna. So I could definitely see him bringing in Groudon just for weather control. So I don't even know if I should lead the, uh, the Barrascuda here. But I'm going to go Tornadus here. I am going to go... Do I go Barrascuda? I could go Tornadus and Barrascuda. Or I can go in with this lovely little Calyrex right here, which would be a solid call. It definitely would be a solid call, but I could definitely see him leading a Pokemon like Incineroar for the lead. So I could go Kyogre here. But I'm thinking more so Barrascuda. I'm thinking more so Barrascuda. Get that Pokemon out and about, and we can roll out strong from there. Or I can go in with, instead of Barrascuda, or instead of Tornadus, I could go Grimmsnarl. Which it seems like we get a lot of value out of Grimmsnarl. So you know what? I am going to go Grimmsnarl instead. So I'm going to go Grimmsnarl. I'm going to bring Kyogre. And then last but not least, do I go Zacian, or do I go in with Calyrex? And I'm... Lean a bit more towards Calyrex. I just feel like we get a bit more value out of him, and it's definitely a lot stronger. So, we're no Calyrex. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But, yo, this team's awesome. Hopefully, he brings out the Omastar. I definitely want to see that Pokemon in the rank ladder. I don't think I've ever seen it in uh, Sword and Shield. And I've been playing for three years. I've been recording videos for you guys for three years. That, that just blows my mind. Looking back on it. Looking back on it, it just blows my mind. I did not think I would be making close to 600 Sword and Shield videos, but I am. And I love it. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. But he does lead the Omastar. So I'm a big fan of. I'm a big fan of that Omastar. So I'm going to set up a light screen, I believe. we go for the light screen here. And set the weather for Bear Scooter on... Like this? I could go for darkness here. But I think I'd rather set the weather, right? And maybe darkness next turn. See, I'm just going to do this. And I think I just set up the light screen, right? Yeah, we'll set up the light screen. I'm all about it. I'm all about the light screen. I'm going to do that, and we're going to see what Omastar was. We already know what Shadow Rider Calyx is going into. It's either like a Will-O-Wisp, uh, an Astro Barrage, or a Protect. Like, I feel like those are the three moves he's going to go into. It's like, chances are it's an Astro Barrage, right? If he protects, he protects. That's totally fine. I'm going to use this move to take off Sash and to set Weather. So I'm all about it. 
I am all about it. But luckily, we are going to get off a of light screen. And I wonder if Omastar's physical or special. I do not know. I feel like it's a physical attacker. Is he Dynamax? Yo, he's Dynamax. Please be the Omi. Please be the Omi. I would love for that Omastar Dynamax. Get cooking here. The Omastar? Yes, sir. Yo, Dynamax and Omastar. Wow. Give this dude a round of applause. Always love going up against some off meta Pokemon, but he Dynamax this Pokemon. But the only thing that stinks is we do not know if it's going to be physical or special because it's just changing its moves to max. But maybe I'll just set up a, a Reflect next turn, depending on what goes on. I'm going to do that. Calyrex is going to go for a double kick. Oh, yo, it's Pal... Palisade? Oh, no, it's weak armor. It's weak armor. Its speed's going up. And it's Palisade. It's weak armor, and it still has another kick going up. Oh, yeah, that's sick. I'm all about it. I'm taking it out next turn, though. I'm going straight after him next turn. I'm going straight after him next turn. Weak armor. So its defense is down. Luckily, we are a physical attacker. That's actually pretty cool. And he's going to go for a rock ball. That's actually fine. His, his move goes out first. And is that physical? Omi Star. Omi Star, chill. <laughs> chill, Omi Star. What is going on here? Oh my god. Omastar coming in hot. Omastar coming in hot. That is sick though. That was one of the coolest combos I've seen. I, I was not expecting that. Weak armor. To get after it. Did that boost his speed? Or that lower his speed? Oh no, it lowered his defense but boosted his speed. That was actually really cool. I'll give it to Omastar all day. But in this case, I'm just going to go into... Hmm. I have no physical attackers, which kind of sucks. I wish I would have brought Zassian. Um, huh. Now we're sitting in a tough spot. I could go Kyogre. Change up weather. Just get rid of the Calyrex. Hmm. Will Calyrex be able to outspeed? I do not know. I think we have a chance to outspeed. So I'm just going to Thunder Wave the uh, Omastar. Slow him down. Maybe get a Paralyze this turn. And then just roll into an Astro Barrage. I feel like that has got to be a play. That's definitely got to be a play. So I'm just going to Astro Barrage across the board. And then I'm just going to drop a Thunder Wave into the Omastar slot. Dude, this Omastar is scaring me, man. But if I can get rid of it and have a Kyrie and Calyrex on the field, we definitely have a shot at winning. But yo, round of applause this Omastar player right here. That combo was so sick. Double kick on the Calyrex, first of all. That was weird. And then he oh, then he had weak armor and the weakness policy. That was just gorgeous all around. But he's going to hard swap into Mag Gear now, which uh, I don't really mind. I do not really mind. See how this one plays. We're gonna go for an Astro Barrage. We outspeed regardless, and we do some nice damage to my gear now. He's probably rock fall me. Yep, he's gonna rock fall my uh Calyrex or hopefully Grimstone, right? Nope, he's gonna take out my Calyrex, no problem. And what can we do from here? I mean, Kyogre's gonna come in here and I see us doing too bad here. I mean, we paralyzed the Omastar already. I definitely want to start rolling into some water spouts, and then rolling out from there. I feel like we have a chance of being fine, but Soul Heart coming out here. I don't like dealing with Soul Heart, my gear now. I don't like dealing with that. If I had Zassian, I would just brought on Zassian and just dumped on that uh, Omastar because defense is minus two. But we have no physical attackers right here. Besides, obviously, uh, besides Grimstone right here. But I feel like uh, we can actually go into a Water Spout here. And on top of that, go into a Spear Break and maybe have a slight chance of KO in here. But yeah, we're going to do that. And yeah, let's just go into a Spear Break here. Or I could go into a Reflect because I think this thing is physical attacking. I'm going to go for the KO. Again, he's minus two. I'm going to go for the KO here. I'm going to go for the KO and potentially set up a Reflect next turn. But he might have Groudon as his final Pokemon. He might have Groudon, but oh my god, that's huge. I should have set up a Reflect. Big time kills from Kyogre. Kyogre's OP. Just whipping on that Omastar. But yo, that Omastar, really, really cool. But uh, from here, uh, if he does not have... If he does not have uh, Groudon, I definitely want to rip into a Thunder Wave into the Calyrex slot and just drop an Origin Pulse. But we'll see who his final Pokemon is. It's going to be Calyrex. We already know that. So Cali Cali comes out. What up, dog? And final Pokemon. Is it Groudon? It is Groudon. I'm surprised he didn't hard swap into it last turn. Okay. I see you, dude. So Light Screen's already out and about. Um, hmm. What's our play here, then? What is our play? Uh, could set up a Reflect. I think we got Thunder Wave the Calyrex and just try to get rid of it, right? I don't even know if we can get rid of it. I'm still going to go for an Origin Pulse. Or do I still go for a Water Spout? Water Spout would do more damage. And let me see your speed real quick. We know we can Thunder Wave. 
You know we can thunder wave. I still kind of want to go into the water spout. Even in the drought, I feel like we can do some crazy damage. And yeah, that should definitely be able to outspeed the Kyogre and be able to outspeed the uh, the Calyrex after I thunder wave it. So we're just going to do that and roll, roll into that move right there. So let's see how this one plays. So thunder wave can come out here. We're slowing down the Calyrex. We're getting after it. It should still do a decent amount of damage. Cannot underestimate water spout at full HP. And no way you wait a no shot you outspeed me. It could be choice. No way it's choice. That Pokemon's already too fast. I think it's quick. That's a quick little booger right there. But Water Spout comes out here. It's doing like zero damage. Kinda hurts Soul. And then I think he's gonna blaze here, right? Yeah. That's no bueno. That is no bueno. So we both survive. So there's a slight chance. And I feel like from here we just gotta like start getting after this uh ground on here. Maybe double down into him and hope that Calyx can be paralyzed, but it's not looking good for us. Not look good. Oh, it, yo, hold up. Wait a minute. It's paralyzed. It is paralyzed. We're gonna ice beam here. Give, give me a freeze. That would do nothing in the drought. We get some big damage off there. And he's gonna go for blades. And it's gonna double connect. And that is gonna be GG. So battle number one goes to our opponent. He definitely threw us off and got an early lead with that cool Oma Star combo. But it'd be like that sometimes. We're sitting at 0-1. Let's hop through a second battle and grab ourselves our first win. Second match coming at you guys, and we're going up against another cool team. This guy's rocking Eternatus, Machamp, who I absolutely love. Then he's got Mewtwo, Charizard, Urshifu, and Zamazetta. Okay, I feel like this is an easy Kyogre and Barrascooter lead, right? There's no way of getting speed control. I could go in with a Tailwind Pokemon, but I just feel like Barrascooter and Kyogre are going to be really good here. We already have speed with the Barrascooter, and we kind of just roll out with Kyogre. So, yeah, definitely want to lead both of them. Bring Shadow Rider Calyrex in the back end, and then bring Zacian. Just stack the squad to get ourselves our first win for today's video. I'm all about it. I am all about it. But yo, something I forgot to ask you guys is question of the day. What is your favorite Pokemon with the ability Swift Swim? Let me know in the comment section down below. There are plenty, and I think there are a lot of cool ones. For me, personally, I really do like Barrascuda, but I also like a Pokemon like Polyrath. I think Polyrath is super cool. And I also like Bear Tick. I like how Bear Tick learns Swift Swim. I really do think that's really cool, considering he is an Ice-type Pokemon. But he's going to end up leading Zamazetta alongside with uh, Machamp. And I feel like I just Dynamax, take out either Machamp or Zamazetta, and then he's going to think that we are going for a uh, a Water Spout or an Origin Pulse. So I believe he thinks we're going to uh, go into that. So he's going to Wide Guard. So I think I'm just going to take out the Machamp with a Water Move and then go into and then go straight into a, uh, a Thunder just for a Paralyzed Chance on the Zamazetta. Right? Because I would think he would be going for a Wide Guard, right? Or he could be going for a Coach. I feel like Wide Guard would be the play. Seeing Kyogre out on the field, Y guard is definitely to play, but we're going to make a hard read here. We're going to say he's going for the Y guard, and we're just going to play off of that. So, Barrascoot is getting a Dynamax from me. This could do some crazy strong damage. I don't think he didn't have Gastron, right? Yeah, no, we're good. We don't have to worry about much. I feel like we can kind of just steamroll this battle with Barrascoot and Kyogre. Can I just roll off from there? So, we'll see what he wants to do here. We shall see. My boy Barrascoot is getting after it. I'd love me some Barrascoot. So let's see. Is he going for the Y guard? Oh, he's Dynamax and Machamp. Machamp is getting Dynamax, which I don't really mind. I don't mind it too much. I'm trying to think, can he KO either of us? I mean, he has that uh, G-Max move, but his G-Max move isn't that good. It really isn't. But he's so sick. His G-Max is sick. Look at that. He just gets swollen. Just when you think Machamp could have get swollen, he, he gets swollen. No wide guard comes out, which is really weird. I could have just water spout him won this game, but it'd be like that. Guys are going to fight there, and Kaiser takes out Machamp, no problem, dude. We get a crit. This dude's going to turn off his console. Show it to me. Show me the little communication error. Wow, we just ripped into that thing. I think there was a slight chance of us KO without the crit. But we're going to drop a Thunder here now. I could have Water Spout and actually just pick up the KO, but again, I thought he was going for the Wide Guard. But Thunder comes out here. Give me the para. No para. And he's going to go for a Psychic Fangs here. Do some nice damage to my Barrier Scooter, but... I think, I think we got this one on lock. I think we're just going to steamroll this battle. Wait, we might sweep this battle. Mewtwo's going to come out here. I can take it out with the Max Geyser. I can just Water Spout. The Barra Scooter Kyogre combo going to win it for us? I think we're going to sweep out with it. I think it's like a no problem sweep here. So yeah, I'm just going to go into it. I actually could Darkness. Which would be a little bit better. Actually, what would do more damage? Max Darkness super effective. So times that by 2. 160 or 260. Or Max Geyser, which is Stab and In the Rain. I forget what the Rain boost is. But the Stab boost would be... It's a weird number. It's a .5 number. Was it 77.5? I 
be plus sad though. Actually, dude, I think Geyser does more. I really do think Geyser does. I think Geyser does more. So we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna water spout on top of that. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Bash is gonna Geyser. I'm gonna say bye bye to Mewtwo. See you later, buddy. And then Water Splash is gonna take out Zamazetta. Yeah, dude, you cannot stop this rain combo. Dude, the rain combos are so strong. In any game. In any game. If you cannot control weather, if you cannot like if you cannot defend weather, you're going to lose. Like weather is just so strong. It really is. It's ridiculously strong. So we end up water spouting, we take out Zamazetta, and now it's just a 2v1 and no one's outspeeding uh Barrascooter here. And Barrascooter's just gonna be able to pick up KOs left and right. So GG's. GG's battle number two. It was your boy. Thank you very much. And we'll be one on one on the day. Which means we have a chance of getting ourselves a winning record. He's gonna go eat turn test. Yeah, like we outspeed that. Taking them out. It's no problem. Actually, might be able to soak up a geyser. Might be able to soak up a geyser, because it's not very effective. I could go into a darkness. But what does more? A non-stab. I think geyser will still do more because <laughs> it's in the rain. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna drop an ice beam. And hopefully it just quits because I really want the sweep. I really want the sweep. Geyser comes in hot because the Eternatus does uh does outspeed my Kyogre. So if he goes to a Dynamax Cannon, he's going to take on my Bear Scooter and ruin my sweep. He goes for an Eterna Beam, and that's going into Kyogre, I think. Yo, this move's sick though. I think this move is so sick. One of the coolest animations. Look at him. He just goes all the way up in the sky. Comes down with a Stranger Things hand. <laughs> and then just drops an Eterna Beam. Can we eat that? We do it beautiful. That move's so sick. That animation's one of the coolest. Definitely one of the coolest. Ice Beam fives, and that's gonna be GG's. Good game. We pick up. We don't pick up the sweep. Never mind. He was able to eat that, but Bear Scooter's gonna come in here with an Aqua Jet. Little Bear Scooter here. What should I? I'm gonna put the punchies on him just because it looks cool. I'm gonna put the punchies on him with close combat. Hopefully, he doesn't cancel. I just wanna put the punchies on him. He does not cancel. Punchies coming out here, and Bear Scooter beats him up for the victory. Little fish takes down mythical dragon. That's how battle number two ends. But we're one and one. Let's hop to our third and final battle. Look for a winning record. Final battle come at you guys. And this guy's rocking with a pretty cool team. He's got the Trick Room, Stakataka, and Calyrex combo. Alongside with Coaching Rylu. And then he has Kyogre, Torkoal for weather control. And then last but not least, he is rocking out with Boom. So from here, I definitely want to go into Tornadus. Considering I have Taunt. And I can just go straight into a Taunt if I want to. And then second Pokemon I want to roll into it might be just Kyogre as a lead. But the problem here would be if Rollboom comes in hot. I do not like Rollboom. I really don't like going up against Rollbooms. It's just a problem every time. But you know what? I'm just going to go Kyogre here. I mean, I don't think we have Protect on Kyogre, do we? We don't. So maybe I can just hard swap if Rollboom is out on the field. I can just hard swap into like uh, Zacian and then kind of go from there. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Kyogre is so good, but Rollboom is its like... Easy counter. It's his easy counter. It just rolls in there. Grassy glide right to your face. You're dead. Every single time. Every single time. That and Regilecki, I feel like, just counters it super easily. This is just out. They outspeed you. They got super effective shot. They're going to do some crazy damage. But let's see who he ends up leading. Anything but the Rillaboom. Cool. So we end up doing that. Um, Do we think he Dynamaxes right off the rip? Or do we think he pops a Trick Room? What do we think he does? I might just taunt it, right? He might Dynamax and coach it. Kind of scaring me here. I'm going to taunt it. I'm going to say, hey, yo, here's a little taunt. I'm just going to go into a water spout. I'm all about it. If he Dynamax and goes for coach, we know that my uh, Kyogre will outspeed, and then we can just drop a nice big water spout and kind of roll off from there. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's see what he does. Rylou. What, what can Rylou? Does Rylou learn fake out? He might learn fake out. Rylou might learn Fake Out, which could be a problem. But I feel like we kind of cover a lot here. Like, say he fakes out my Tornadus, then my Water Spout gets off. But say he fakes out my Kyogre, my Taunt gets off, which I'm all about. But he's just going to end up Dynamax. I think this is a coaching situation. He's going to start coaching him with Rylou, boost his defense and all that good stuff. So we just waste a turn with Taunt. It's fine. It's no big deal. Water Spout should still do a huge chunk of damage here. And then we should be able to maybe survive a shot. Maybe. Just maybe. But the most important thing is he does not get off uh, Trick Room. He guards. Wow, okay. Wow, what's Rylou going for then? Rylou, what's, what's Rylou going for? I, maybe nothing. Actually, no, he does outspeed. He's going to copycat. He, he taunting me? He, taunt my Kyogre, please. Cool. 
I'm all about taunting my Kyogre. That would have been a nice copycat on the, uh, onto the, what's it called? Onto the Tornadus. But we end up water spouting. We bring that thing down to Sash. And I'm just gonna roll from here. I feel like here is a nice time to drop a Heat Wave, right? What do we Hurricane go for Ducks? I feel like Heat Wave would be our, bet, our better bet. Because there's a chance that we can get a burn, but. I'm gonna go for the Ducks here. 100% hitting, and I'm just gonna drop a Water Spout on top of that. So this guy is actually sitting in a tough position here. Like, what are you going to do? He's gonna coach up. There's the coach. He's gonna get the defense boost. We have uh, special attackers throughout our team besides Zassian, so I don't mind that defense boost. Hurricane's gonna come out here and give me the Ducks. Show me the Ducks all day. We do not get the Ducks, but Water Spout flies. And oh my lord. Yo, Kyogre, you gotta stop being so strong. This is just like ridiculous at this point. Just take these guys out. Like I said, they should just... I, I already know, like, the Season 14 rules are out, and they're kind of bringing it back. They're taking away the Mythicals. They're, they're kind of bringing it back to, like, the Series 12 rule set. But what they should have done is just put us back in Series 1. Season 1, that's what the rule set should be. That I felt like that was so much fun. We were just using, like, a bunch of cool Pokemon from Gen 8, a bunch of uh, non-Legendaries. It was awesome. But I think once they kind of put in Legendaries, it was fun for a little bit, and then it kind of got repetitive. Because, like, there's certain Legendaries that are just stronger than others all day. But he's going to end up going into Rillaboom, which I do not like. I kind of want to hard swap here, but we have a problem. We have a huge problem. My Calyx going to pop a trick room. Well, he doesn't have Dynamax anymore, which is really good. But I'm just going to Hurricane on top of this, and I think I just hard swap. I'm going to just play the hard swap game. I go into Zassian. So I would love to keep my Kyogre. But I think he goes for the Grassy Glide here, and then on top of that, he goes for a trick room. But if we can land this Hurricane, get off some mean damage, we should be thriving. But if he doesn't pop trick room, that's... Pretty much game over, right? Yeah, if he does pop trick and we win this match all day long. So then here comes the grass guide. Great read from us. Hurricane should fly next. And we're hoping he's not popping trick room. This might even KO here. It does not. Give me the ducks though. Give me the quackers. We do get the quackers. We love the quackers. Quackers come out and he ends up popping the trick rooms. The trick room's out about um Zassian. Zassian can do pretty good here. I mean, he's gonna glacial lance. Um, we do have bright powder, so my boy does have a chance of dodging, which could be good. I could have taunted that turn. That should have been my play. Why didn't I taunt? That should have been my play, but I still have Dynamax. Still have Dynamax, who I would rather just save for that Kyogre. I can get rid of this roll boom. Maybe I should just start ripping into the roll boom. But yeah, I definitely should have taunted the Calyx looking back at it. But please hit yourself in confusion. Let's go. Let's go. The Ducks doing some work. High horsepower is flying in here, and we might be able to soak that up. We do not. We do not. We do not soak that up, which is totally fine, because we're just going to drop this lovely little Hurricane. And then I'm going to just Dynamax my uh, Kyogre and finish this battle off. GG's. G to the G's. Hurricane comes out here. We'll say bye-bye to the Roll Boom. My Kyogre Dynamax can definitely handle this plus one uh, Calyrex all day long. It just takes one geyser for us. One little geyser, and it's just game, set, and match. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to grab ourselves a beautiful, perfect record. Or not perfect record, a winning record, I should say. Because first battle, we got dumped on by that awesome Oma Star combo. I'm looking back on, on it. That was just so cool. Like, I was just not expecting it. Like, I saw it was, like, double kick coming out from the Calyx. I'm like, what's going on? And then I was like, oh, my God. It has weak armor, and it has, uh, and it has weakness policy. Nah, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> Boost his speed and its attack, lowered his defense, but it was just ripping into my Pokemon left and right. Granted, I didn't have my Zacian, which was a big mistake. Like, why didn't I bring in Zacian? But, uh, yeah, if I had Zacian, I could have just outsped him, KO'd him in one shot, no problem, and it would have been GG's on our side. But that's the way the cooker crumbles. We didn't bring the Zacian, and we ended up losing it. But, hey, back to back victories, battle number two and three. I'll say that made up for it, but Calyx drops Glacial Lance. He takes out my Tornadus, no problem, but my Kyogre soaks it. He can soak up another one and maybe even two more, but it doesn't even matter. Max, Max Guy is going to fly. Base 150 power, stab in the rain. Get this thing on at my face. Get him out of here. That's GG's. Light work here. Calyx definitely drops out to this, right? Yep, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. A winning record for you guys. One last shout out to my boy Brian for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. If you guys want to send me teams, make sure you head down the link in the description below. There's a link to my Twitter page down there. Either DM me or tweet at me your guys' rental codes. And I'll definitely try to use them in a YouTube video. But 
absolutely love the scene. Went through one with it. We had the Barrow Scooter rolling out. We had the Calyrex, the Kyogre, everybody I felt like got a chance in the battle. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive video today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.